Hey guys, so today um, I'm in my yard under tarp uh, because it's kind of raining a little bit. Um, I'm going to be making a Dakota fire pit today. Um, wasn't really able to get out this weekend and do uh, my survival challenge, so hopefully I'll be able to do it next weekend. Uh, but I wanted to do something while I was here. Um, some tinder and some fire starting materials and some wood and cut some wood up uh, and i'm gonna baton some of it and uh me and my buddy walter my baby my little buddy are gonna be building a dakota fire pit so stay tuned First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little uh, monkey fur. This is the most potent stuff in Florida um, for starting a fire. Um, and I'm not using a ferro rod today. I'm just going to use a lighter because I'm at home and uh, I could use a ferro rod. But I want to do this fast just in case the weather gets any worse. So, so this is a piece of lighter wood. Uh, I've got a piece of lighter wood in here. And it's right beside. catch itself. So I've got the wind blowing in from this side. This is my air, air vent and that is my fire hole. Uh, and what I've done let me get this thing going a little bit. But what I've done is I've put this in at an angle to let more air get into it. Um, and hopefully, hopefully you can hear me. It's the wind starting to kick. Um, but this fire should get going pretty good now. I hope. So as you can tell, uh, there's a little bit of smoke but it's not very much and uh, this wood is kind of wet so that would be the explanation for the smoke that we do have it's a little bit of wet smoke so it's not smoking very much it's a little bit. this is basically a stealth campfire uh, so if you were stealth camping or wanted to go stealth camping uh, or you just don't want to put up a bunch of smoke you don't want to be um, you don't want to be a jerk and you got people next door to you you want to have a fire and play in the yard this is kind of a novelty in my opinion uh, um, this isn't really you know something when you're in a survival situation you're not really trying to um, 
not really trying to to be discreet or stealthy. You want to, you know, have a good fire, smoke. You know, would would have people, uh, you know, interested in who's over there. Yep. So, um, but this fire is really good for uh, stealth camping or you know, being being in your backyard and just doing something. Um, it does have really good, I mean it is a really good idea, um, but it's not, not necessarily a survival thing, it's more of just a bushcraft thing. But another thing you want to point out, I want to point out another thing I want to point out is um, make sure your hole is not too big um, around here so you know if it's small enough to put your pot on, um, you know, keep your wood kind of low, that way your wood's not up, you know, your pot's not sitting over top of wood. Um, anyway, this is the Dakota fire pit. Alright, so there we are, Dakota fire pit. So for the purposes of stealth camping, um, if you look, so there's a little bitty bit of smoke coming off of it. But if you were trying to keep it from coming up through the tree line, this fire has very little smoke compared to a, you know, a regular fire. Um, and it's a very small fr footprint too. So, like I said, if you're stealth camping, you can cover these holes back up, throw some leaves over them, and nobody ever knew you were there. Um, fire through there. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. So, there's no smoke now, hardly. There's hardly any smoke. Very little. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see 